I met Romeo Griffin last September. Um, we was in a relationship, met through a mutual friend. Um, he was like the perfect gentleman, from opening doors to paying for dates. Um, he said he had businesses, wanted me to be a business partner, had cars, said he'll get me a car, said he had contracts that was worth millions. What type of business? Um, drone. So he said he created a, a drone for the Georgia Department of Transportation. Okay. Um, and he said he was recently divorced. So we started dating and things started escalating. And I found out that Romeo is a woman beater, um, a liar, a cheater. Um, from him hitting me, I had to get a restraining order. Um, had when a, was that? Um, the beating start back in February. And my witness is here to contest to the day that it actually started because Romeo used my phone to contact him acting like he was me. So he threatened my roommate, threatened my ex that's here. Why? And, Why do you think or did he say he was doing that? Um, so that day, which was back in February, I was getting my nails done. Romeo told me he hadn't been watching my phone. He had this program, whatever he used, saying that he had been, been a jealous person all through the relationship. Not really. He always had maybe a temper, always, but never to never okay, towards me. So he me. wasn't checking on your phone. What happened this time to cause him to do that? Um, back in February, uh -huh. I was leaving the nail shop. Right. When I was leaving the nail shop, he asked me where I been. I told him where I was, and then he was like, "Well, who you was with?" I was like, "I was with no one." He was like, no, they can't be, because one of my homeboys saw you at the nail shop with your ex. I said, yes, because I told my ex to bring my laptop. My ex dropped off the laptop at the nail shop. And that's when Romeo started going crazy, saying, you lying, that he's been looking okay. in my phone, saying that. And that's that. when the violence started as well? That's when he was choking me yeah. to slapping me, okay. um, pin a gun to my head. You have a police report on that? Um, I do have a police report, but I don't have a copy of it. I have the restraining order and everything that, ha that has, and I have a video of the last incident of where he okay. hit me. Sir? Uh, defender, I was saying, yeah, we met each other last year, September. Everything was going well. She was a nice, good church-going girl, amazing personality. I love how she carried herself. We started dating. Everything was going pretty well at first, and then, like, stuff just went start adding up. Where, um, what do you mean? Um, so she began certain phone calls, and she wouldn't answer certain calls or text message. So I kind of used to, I, I, I just started taking notes. What did you discover? Discover, uh, so basically, uh, around Thanksgiving, we supposed to end up linking up after we had our, you know, she with her family, and I supposed to came to her family house, and she said her family invited her ex-boyfriend. I never met this man by then. So, um, I was calling her all that night. All the night, she cut off her phone. How long did you all date it? You and your ex-boyfriend. Um, on and off for a little bit over uh, five years, five okay. to six years. Go ahead, sir. And so I'm calling her. She cut off her phone. Come to find out, she was with her ex-boyfriend on Thanksgiving, laid up with him in her own house. How did you find that out? Um, first, it was a mutual friend who kept telling me, "Hey, Miori's still saying her ex." He was going through my phone. He had the mutual friend look at my text talk. messages. The question is, how did you find out she was laying in bed with another man? Um, I went through her phone, and then I kind of questioned about it, and then she kind of tried to come clean, but she was still. She trying said to... we were in the bed on Thanksgiving yeah, she, she, weekend. Yes, yes, sir. She admitted to that. Yes, we started arguing. And then I started asking questions. And then she started coming clean. So I was like, so I started asking about different scenarios where I felt like things was uh, funny. Mm -hmm. Like one day when I came to her house in her bed, I'm like, somebody else cologne. And so when she finally came clean, so I'm like, yeah. So I was like, what about what happened on Thanksgiving? What really happened? Why you there? So she ended up coming clean about that because I already saw it in the test message. She said what? Coming clean? Uh, she was basically mean? saying, uh, yes, he was here, but we didn't do nothing. Was here as in the bed? Yes, in the bed, where I, on the side I used to lay it. How did you respond to the argument? At first, um, we were both going back and forth. I was angry. The only thing I did, I was, only thing I was guilty of, I did test his phone <laughs> and act like I was her. That's it. How did you argument in with her? I threw her phone. I end up start asking about other scenarios and stuff, mm -hmm. and then she just was telling me about this time mm -hmm. and everything. So I was like, "Are you still 100% still seeing him?" Mm -hmm. And your honor, she was. She said yes. And then what happened? And you then, just uh, walked away. No, sir. Uh, we end up some way. We end up coming down. We end up talking about it, and we end up staying together. That was before, or after the uh, phone was thrown. That was. Uh, that was before. This is when he started hitting me. So he threw my phone, and he started hitting me. 
choking me. I couldn't breathe. He had me pant down on top of me, pulling my hair, going crazy. And then he started from choking me again, from pushing me. He, he, he did throw my phone in the door. And that's when I have the text messages of him threatening my ex. So he got my phone, started acting like he was me, telling my ex he's going to hurt me. Then he ran outside and told my roommate that I've been doing stuff behind his back. You have a report, ma'am. Let's yeah, see. I have the restraining order. And, and how many times did you call the police? Once. Why? I was afraid of him, and I, it did make me seem like I, I was the one that caused him to be like that. He wasn't like that. I had never seen him like this before, and he was right that me and my ex was still communicating, but there was nothing. So is that how you caused it, you believe? That's why you think you caused it, because you and your ex were communicating? Yeah. I, I believe that okay. that was the reason why, because I had he had okay. never acted like this before. You didn't think perhaps if your man didn't want you to communicate with your ex, you didn't think it was worth not communicating with him? Um... Then I was finding out Romeo was treated and that he's still married. Okay. This man it. is still married. All right. That's, I that's, was that's not, I wasn't know. aware of this. You, you, that's a lie, Your Honor. All right. That's okay. a lie. <laughs> not married? No, sir, I'm not. Okay, good enough. Okay. Yeah. And let me see what you do have on this woman beating. Oh, okay. This is the PTO, the restraining order. Okay. Let's see it, please. And tell me about the credit cards first. <laughs> I want to hear why okay. you gave this man $5,000 okay. and you say he told you he made a bunch of money. So at the end of September, that's when um, he said that his bank had froze. He only met, I was he with met him. you in September, correct? Yes, so the first week of September, that's when um, I was going around with him. We was going to different places, getting his apartment together because he had just moved. Well, he said that because he had spent so much money, which he was spending a lot of money. I had seen him spend maybe over $10,000. So I saw him have this money and everything. Mm -hmm. And he said his account froze. And Did he tell you why? He, um, he told me because he believed his ex-wife, because they still had one ac um, account together, his ex-wife may have did it, saw that he was spending a lot of okay. money because they still had that joint account together. Okay. And he asked me, can he use my credit card? And he'll pay me back because he said it's something that what can get fixed. From still, he was still moving in. It has all his transactions about him going to Walmart. Get okay. Those transactions still It involves still moving in. And he was mm -hmm. supposed to pay every month, obviously. Well, the following month, so I had not used any on that um, Walmart credit card. The following month, he said he would pay me back. And I have all the messages about him saying he'll pay me back plus some. And then I asked him. So October came. And you do have over there, hopefully, yes. the uh, charges. Oh, and yeah. I pray that it doesn't have anything indicating that you charge something. Oh, no. Right. Those are um, for two months. So this this Honor, is not going to be quiet. Yes, sir. She's, this is not going to say that you charged anything on here? Um, no, sir. I, I did not have those cards. Okay. Yes, she for, did. All right. What did she charge, sir? Sir, what did sir. she charge? Um, so we both were just not going to shop. She was shopping for her house as well, mm -hmm. sir. It's what not our house, house. yours. No, what do you, you mean? I said you were shopping for her. Like I'm saying, so you all stayed in different houses. No, yes, we stayed in different houses. What did houses. she need done at her house? Uh, she would just get a few household stuff. Like what? Uh, she, she, she she got this thing. She liked decorating for holidays, so she did like a, hol a lot of holidays. How shopping. much do you think she charged? I'm not sure, Your Honor. So it could have been five dollars. <laughs> no, it wasn't. That How was do you know? Card. I have my own debit card. You're not sure? Give me an estimate. Cause you're lying. Right. Uh, it appears he is. What's your defense against paying this? My defense? Yeah. Well, um, she's suing you for credit card charges. Ain't nothing funny. You're going to have time to grin and smile when you go to prison. Yes, sir. Did you make those charges? I did make... What was the agreement regarding you it, paying? Sir, uh, when we was dating, we was girlfriend and boyfriend, and we had no agreement. She was basically my support system the whole time. Okay. We did not make it agreement. All right, you sound like a scrub. You sound like a woman He's beating. Broke. You sound like a woman beating He's scrub. Yep, you were broke. You don't have any money. What happened to your money? You were broke when you met her. No, sir. Okay, so one month later, all your money was gone. No, sir. All right, so why did you have to use her credit card that next month? Okay, so, um, for that, mm -hmm. she offered, but I was actually. I understand. You said she was your support. Didn't you just say that? Yes, sir. So that time. means you were broke. You want to tell me that you <laughs> were a businessman? You a scrub and a woman beater? I, have I believe her. Of him saying he'll pay it and pay it all back. It's highlighted. Let's see the tape. <laughs> Ooh, 
I hope you crack your knuckles in prison. And that's him picking See, me up, I, pin me outside, choking me again. No, I wasn't. I picked you up because you were right, running, acting a mess. All you right, woman Romeo. beater. You yes, won't do that to a man, twice. I bet you. And you're not going to do that when they lock you up. Sir, I did not. Yeah, they're going to okay. be carrying you. She was choking me, Romeo. Sir, I'm looking choking at it. Sir, I picked her Shut up. Shut up, you woman beater, and get the hell out of my court. Your claim is dismissed, and yours is granted. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.